Hi, Robert. Okay, it is evaluation day. Um, I have your 6139-6002 that you bought in Vietnam in 1971 at the PX. Good stuff. Um, the watch is in amazingly good condition for one with military history. I don't think you wore it a lot or you were very careful with it. The watch is running. I mean, when I pulled off the back and I could see the cleanliness of the movement, um, I was pretty impressed. Uh, the case back has one servicing mark inside of it, and I can see, do you see this little bits of scratches right here? Somebody was working on the watch, and what they would do is they would, they would, they would actuate the winding mechanism by putting their screwdriver here and then turning it around like this. We get these little scratches here. Uh, but the watch is in very good running condition as long as the chronograph is running. So this is the chronograph running. It's got great amplitude. This is how far back and forth the balance is swinging. It's in adjustment and it's only gaining a little bit of time. This is a really, really good starting point for a watch. Now with the chronograph stopped, so the clutch arms come in and they're and they're the clutch is disengaged the watch won't really run for very long uh, so it's it's I mean it's dirty the movements dirty and it needs servicing but I I think that that's more of a cleaning and lubrication problem than a physical parts problem I mean this is these are great numbers to start with I mean we can see the shine in the movement we can see it we can also see that the seals are ancient absolutely flat and stuck to the case uh, and of course your your crown was broken and everything else like that but uh, it's a very very good place to start um, and um, in terms of cosmetics the watch is fantastic I mean, it's really 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 nice really cosmetically beautiful Your lower mainspring arbor port is tight. You've got a you've got a good watch. I don't think you put a lot of miles in this thing. Um, here's the remains of your broken stem. The gear is missing, which is really weird because the 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 spring was in there and the spring should be outboard of the gear, but the spring was there, but the gear was gone. Anyway, broken crown. Uh, I did take the, the your donor watch here and I pulled the stem on it and I put the stem in here. And it, and it works fine. So we can assume that that's going to be great. Um, the watch, I, to my mind, looking at it, I think it's going to need servicing, seals, and a crystal. I think really that's it. I don't. I, the lower mainspring arbor port looks fine. I think it just needs to be cleaned. I mean, cosmetically, it's beautiful. I mean, it's un, absolutely unfaded. Perfect white loom. Your indicator ring does what it should now that we have a complete stem in place. Uh, your day wheels misaligned, so I'm going to have to see if I can index that over and get that fixed. We, that sh so we're going to have a little bit of repair to move this, because uh, this wheel, this, this flat plane is turning on the star wheel, which is underneath here. I've got to index that down and I'm going to have to fix it in place. It's minor. But uh, that's just, I mean, it's unfaded, it's beautiful. This watch will be a stunner when it's done. I mean, look at the shine. Look at the shine on the insert. I don't think you wore this much at all. Either that, and if you did, boy, you were really careful with it. That's a great watch. Absolutely, absolutely great. No problems. All the basics, and I think we'll be set. Nice watch. Great to see it. Okay, thank you.